Hi, I'm Rissa and welcome back to Chew in the Kitchen. I got a special meal for you all planned. It's almost Valentine's Day and I have the easiest, most delicious meal you can make for your sweetheart, prime rib. If you haven't hit the subscribe button, please do so by hitting the subscribe button below. You can log in using any Gmail account. Let's get started. The first step is the most important step. You're gonna take the prime rib out of your refrigerator and get it to room temperature over four to six hours. If you don't do this, your prime rib will not turn out perfect. So put it to the side and get ready. The second step is we're gonna make an herb butter. I am gonna use my mix it up bowl. This is a shout out to my friend Trisha who got me this bowl. I added two sticks of butter. I added one whole package of rosemary. I'm gonna go ahead and dump that on in there. And I'm gonna crush it on up, mix it together. I let my butter get real soft so it's um, easier for me to mix it up. Then I'm gonna add some pepper. And that's kind of dependent on your taste, how much pepper you really like in there. I'm gonna add some garlic salt. And lastly, Italian seasoning. I love Italian seasoning. So I'll add a lot of that. Then I'm gonna mix it on up and I'll add it to my prime rib. So what makes this prime rib idiot proof is math. What you're going to do is you're going to take the weight of the prime rib and multiply it by five to get your time. So my prime rib was exactly six pounds. So if I multiply that by five, I get 30. So it is gonna go in the oven for 30 minutes and I'm gonna add an, ex an extra minute, so 31 minutes to make up for the heat loss. Then I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna turn off my oven for two exact hours. And then that's it and it's perfect. The last prep step is adding salt, kosher salt, to the meat. You're gonna just coat that right on. The more, the merrier. Because this is such a big piece of meat, it's not gonna absorb quite as much salt, but it's gonna create a really good crust for your meat. So my oven just reached 500. I'm gonna go ahead and put my meat in for 31 minutes. It's gonna go off, the timer will go off at 31 minutes and then I'm gonna leave it closed for two hours. I'll note the time and know that in two hours exactly that it will be finished. The trick is do not open the door to your oven. Don't even think about your prime rib until two hours after. So I was cleaning out some drawers upstairs, getting ready for our big move and look what treasure I came across. Our Blockbuster card, actually it's yours from 2005. Why do you have that? Well, I thought it was appropriate because this prime rib episode is going to be a Blockbuster. I just went ahead and got my prime rib out of the oven. I went ahead and cut off those ties and I'm gonna detach the bones from the prime rib. As you can see, it's a perfectly pink center right there. Ooh, it's gonna taste so yummy. You can keep the bones, but if you like your prime rib cooked a little bit more well, you can go ahead and put it in your au jus to cook it on up. But I'm gonna save these bones and actually put them in my au jus so I get all that good flavor. I'm gonna go ahead and I'll cut the first piece. The crust on here looks amazing too. It's not as strong as I once was. Ugh. I'm still cutting. <laughs> Gotta get through all that. Ugh. Look how beautiful that looks. Ooh. Yummy. We're gonna go ahead and enjoy our prime rib for this Valentine's Day. Please follow me on Instagram at Chew in the Kitchen and give me a thumbs up. See you soon.